Uh, they're pretty close to being independent. How old do you think they are? Probably yeah. three weeks. Three weeks. Eyes are open. Okay. I'm kind of guessing. Three weeks, puppy <laughs> piles. Hi, babies. And then what we've been using them for briefly is just because now mom's, like, we suddenly took them away from her, so she's kind of engorged. So I don't want them to nurse much from her because of the drugs that she's on. Like, right. nothing that she's on is Dangerous. catastrophic for a puppy, but it just be better if Not she didn't, if correct. They didn't get them. And she needs the pain meds due to yes, her. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we we've just kind of been using them like um, briefly to alleviate some of the of the pressure from her, and then we're just trying to we're just trying to dry her out. So okay. warm compressor today, milk her if we need to. <coughs> like, um, <laughs> yours. We rescued a mommy with a broken pelvis and ten puppies from under a house in Miami. Oh, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank the whole box. <laughs> right. It's a miracle, actually. It's awesome. The video is super so now intense. What do you guys do with the babies? They're, we're a rescue. I'm a rescue. 100 plus. Oh, you are so nice. Yeah. I love you already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're here visiting with uh, Mommy uh, Lucy's babies, and Mommy Lucy's on her way in. Um, so the pelvis. They said that doesn't need surgery. Yeah, so the only reason that she would recommend stabilization is if we can't control her discomfort with pain. Like she doesn't think she thinks that we'll heal and be fine. On the only own. reason that it would that she would suggest <clears throat> going forward with surgery is if it's unmanageable with pain meds. Okay. And she seems to be okay. significantly better already. Awesome. So I, I think I think it's much more likely than not mm. that it will be the pain meds will not be affected. Awesome. Uh, so we yes, were so nervous because the first night we brought her in, she was so impacted. She, her, her poop was like bone hard. Yeah. Um, and we took an x-ray at Imperial Point and the doctor said, I don't think it's fixable. And I'm like, oh my God, what are you saying? So thankfully... I think it's true, but for the opposite reason and the fact that it's not necessary. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, yeah. guys, I'm here live streaming. This is live video um, here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialists. Everybody's been so anxious and every minute of the day I'm getting questions. How's Mommy Lucy? How are the babies? Well... Hey here is the 10 puppies they're doing awesome um as you know mommy had a broken pelvis she was hit by a car on friday prior to us getting there you saw the video of us crawling under the house my amazing team pulling one by one these puppies were laying in filth dirt in 90 plus degree weather they would not have survived you're gonna feed them now watch guys let's watch the puppies eat up their slurpees so what we've done, the doctors are explaining, I don't know if you could hear, but mommy with her broken pelvis, she needs pain meds to keep her comfortable. Two surgeons have looked at the x-rays and said that she does not need surgery. She needs kennel rest and proper pain meds and she will heal just fine. She herself is just a baby. She's between one and two years of age. Um, so we're focusing on making mommy comfortable and puppies are here being fed literally how often are you feeding these puppies so they're actually not hungry I just want oh to be able to we're going me. for a bath <laughs> in it yeah they're not hungry this guy might be hungry <clears throat> come on come on. they just want to play in it oh boy what a mess you guys have oh, this is a 24-hour hospital this is a 24-hour job um you're talking 10 puppies a mommy they're doing all the work, which is why we need your donations. This is ongoing. The puppies are about three weeks of age, they're estimating. So they cannot go to our foster for approximately another four weeks, three to four weeks, maybe a little bit sooner. If we can have the foster mommy bottle feeding and making sure they're fed every two weeks. Um, there's, of course, nothing we want more than puppies to be nursing on their mommy, but under the circumstances, we have to make sure mommy is comfortable and safe along with her babies. So trust us, this is not easy for us, but this is what's best for all in, in need. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is crazy. This when is they're crazy. Hungry, when they're hungry, they do a great job. Yeah, they, they <laughs> just ate recently. So these, these are <laughs> private nurses, private doctors, that th literally, they each have their own private. So it's 24 seven, they're being monitored. Um, guys, did you by any chance do parvo test on these puppies? We did, not. We did a fecal, they have hookworms. But, Which is um, common. Can we do a parvo yeah, test, sure. please? No, no, no. Can you stand this? Ten little babies. We named them after the, um, well, Mommy Lucy, what is that Charlie Brown thing? We'll, we'll fill you in on the names once we've, oh, poopies. Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. What? Look at you, you little runt. 
You're just a little runt. You have food all over you. Oh, yes. Say hi. <laughs> Come on. You hungry? Come on. There you go. I, mean, I, can't, I can't pause this, as you know, because it is live feed. So you're seeing everything I'm seeing. So I wanted you to feel like you were here with us because you've been so supportive and so oh, generous with with our organization and your donations is truly what allows us to keep doing what we're doing so we're asking again please donate for their care because this is going to be a long process for this family that we saved otherwise they would not have survived what is that in your eye i can't wait to see mommy i know it's delicious right it's so great it's so great um, stimulated before, so the fact they're pooping on their own is good. This is awesome. They're good size, yeah. you know. Oh, gosh, yes. oh my god, this one's so oh my god, you almost lost your I finger. Know. They're good eaters, isn't this beautiful? I don't know what breed we know. Mommy is what would you say? Mommy is like a shepherd yeah, mix. She's she's mommy, so sweet. the sweetest. Yeah. Mommy Lucy is a shepherd mix, approximately one to two years of age, has known nothing but the streets of Miami, which is why she was pregnant which is why she was hit by a car roaming the streets. That is not being responsible when you have a pet. Look at this. Look at this. What are we, finger painting? This is finger painting puppy time. Awesome. It is great news. Thank you, Lisa M. Rios. We try our best. Somebody's eating. Earlier. Yeah, they were. They just brought it out and they wanted to see, you know, show us how they're eating. Um, they just recently ate, so they're not all that hungry. You're standing. I cannot. I can't. Can you hear them all? Can you hear them talking? Squeaky. Squeak, squeak. Hi. And little babies. This is why when we do our adoptions, when our, when these babies go up for adoption, we're very strict. Home checks, thorough home checks, background checks. Because you can see all the love that we put into these dogs. And we don't just hand these dogs to anybody. We want to make sure that they have the best life. Their start was already so tough. Hi. I don't know what the mix is. It could be multiple fathers. I don't know if you are aware. Where are you going, little guy? Huh? Little guy, I was right, little guy. Where are you going? Come on. Come here. Oh, my God. So, again, there could be multiple fathers with one female. So, that's why a lot of litters look so different. Oh, they're so vocal. I see all the hearts flying by on the screen. You guys are awesome. We love your support. You can come over here, guys. Yeah, you can come, come over. Me, yeah. yeah, help. And sometimes if you just dip your finger in it, and they have a very strong suck reflex, so you kind of have to pull really hard to get your finger back out, but you're not going to hurt them. They have no teeth. I'll come back and check on you. Okay. Are you bringing Mommy in? Um, I have to kind of... Wait. Massage her. Oh, okay. Her okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Wow. If you should, if you could hear the echoing in this room, I don't know if you can hear this. Yes, they are definitely going to need baths for sure. That's a no-brainer, Roseanne. Can you stand it? This one's just sitting in the... What are you doing? Why? You're a mess. You're all a mess. Yeah, they can't really walk. Their motor skills are not... You're covered. You need a bath. You need a bubble bath. Yeah, they're gonna bathe them. They have. What, baby? <laughs> Why? What? Puppy pup. Oh my gosh. 
Squeaking is, you don't even know. Oh, it's okay, Boo Boo. Come here. Here. Here's your sisters and brothers. Here. Everybody can pile together. Come on. I'm... Oh, there's... Oh, they're fat. They are fat, fat, fat. No, mommy does not need surgery, Lisa Star. They've, um, two surgeons looked at it, thank God. And they said with proper rest and proper pain medication, her pelvis will hear on her on it on its own. It's an absolute miracle. We are so happy. Are you guys bored yet? Do you want me to shut this off or do you want me to wait? Yes, Lisa, pain meds, the puppies cannot nurse on her because they cannot get the pain meds in their system. So, unfortunately, yes, they have to be fed in order to save mommy. And this is what we have to go through. Oh. <laughs> Look at them all piling on. They're all on top of each other. <sighs> Can't. Okay, I'll keep going. Ten puppies, three weeks of age. <clears throat> I really wanted you to see Mommy Lucy. They're massaging her nipples right now. They're trying to get the milk to go down because she's not nursing so she doesn't get mastitis. You're soaking it up, Sarah Beth? Awesome, so am I. Don't look away, Stephanie Lovins. <clears throat> Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Carol. They're all watching. Are you loving this? Mommy's probably about 40 pounds, so we don't know when, like I said, uh, the daddies, there can be multiple fathers, not just one father, so they could have different fathers that impregnated her while she was on the street, um, so, or it could be one, we don't know, but we don't know who the daddy is, because she's a street dog, and she's one of the sweetest dogs ever. I'll give you a brochure, absolutely. Where are you guys from, around here? Oh, New York? Oh, Italy? Oh my God, say hi, girls. Hi. These girls were here with their mom and their dog was here just being looked at. So they, of course, came running in the room. They could not turn away, it's just cute. Lucy's fine, she sees her babies. That's some um, special um, milk replacement that they give puppies, if God forbid. Sometimes we bring in puppies and there's no mother. So they have a milk replacement and they feed it and they mix it with some kind of mush and water. So they get all the vitamins that they need. Yeah. These guys will be eating regular puppy food soon mixed with water. They're so big. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun bath time. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's great, Carol, isn't it? And dear's mommy, Lucy's. Hi, mommy, look. Hi, mommy. So we have a sling to help her. Um, she does have movement, correct, and feeling. So we just don't want her to overdo. It's okay, baby girl. Okay. Here's Mommy Lucy. It's okay, honey. Okay, I know. Okay. It's okay if they... Okay. It's okay if they It is okay? Okay. So, guys, see, Mommy gets to spend time, and she's cleaning. Oh, she's cleaning, all right. What a mess. <laughs> I feel for you guys. There's Mommy Lucy. Beautiful Mommy Lucy. Go ahead, Mommy. This hospital is so amazing. We so appreciate you, Lauderdale Veterinary Specialists, and you, doctor, <laughs> and the nurses, and the vet techs, and everybody that's part. It's just so amazing with the up. Oh, they're going. They want mommy. They want mommy. Such a good mom, Lucy. I'm going to stand up so you can get a better view. Here we go. There's the babies. 
It's a beautiful thing. Very strong puppies. Yes, they are. Hi, Mommy. There's Mommy Lucy, everybody. She with the babies. They're all suckling. She's such a good mommy. <laughs> There's always one in the bunch, like Jan said, that nurse upside down and kicks its feet. Such good stuff. Yep. They'll find a little nipple. You can just throw it right in there. Not throw it, obviously. <clears throat> Holy moly is right, Debbie. You can move that one, too. You can get it done. Because they don't know. Yeah, they'll start sucking on anything they can. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, well, if you saw where we pulled these from, you, you can't even imagine. My girls were crawling a crawl space like this. Dirt, glass, nails. And this is where she was crawling with her pelvis like that under this house. Gave birth and was trying to care for... I mean, she obviously cared for them. Look at how great, the great shape they're in. What a beautiful mommy. These 10 beautiful puppies. 11 lives saved from a hell, a life of hell. <laughs> Where are you going? That's not the right way. <laughs> mommy, you happy? It's all right. It's okay, Mama. She's so sweet. Ten puppies, yes, ten puppies. That we crawled under the house in Miami and pulled one by one until there were none. You're welcome, Zoe. I know everybody's been sending me private messages day and night and private notifications on our Facebook page. How's Mummy Lucy? How's Mummy Lucy? How are the babies? Well, here's your update, guys. I, I, you know, when we it takes a day or two because we're waiting. We want them to be settled. Um, and as soon as we get updates, honestly, we, we update you as quickly as we can. We have so many emergencies going on in between all of this. We have over 70 dogs right now under our care. So, and we have four cats and three kittens. We have a new dog coming in today. <laughs> Meredith, the puppy's names up. We'll, we'll uh, post later. The mummy is Lucy, and my girls picked all the names from Charlie Brown, I believe. So, there's five girls and five boys. They're doing so great, so great. Mummy is so grateful. How's mommy eating? Is she eating, She's eating good? Very well. Come here, little man. There's 12 nipples. There should be enough for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Scooch over. Scooch over, fat boy. Right there. Get that one. Get that one. Get, Get it. Don't kick your brother Get in the face. Get that nipples. Right there. Right there. Mommy, you're, you're so away. good, mommy. Mommy, you had so many babies. Ten babies, mommy. Want some, mama? Oh, yeah. good girl. Good girl, mommy. Sweet mommy Lucy. You hear the suckling? These puppies That's are the big moose. Uh, yeah. What, this one? Yeah. He's, He's crazy. Like, He's, He's like, wait puppies. a minute, wait a minute, where's mine? So I can give them like another three minutes and then they have to come off the nipple. Okay. No, it's with all the medication she's on, there are some of them that we don't want the puppies to get. Right. So we're really just having them, like they're not even staying in the same cave with her because we don't they're want really them here suckling. to just help relieve some of the pressure when her milk builds up and then we're manually expressing the rest of her milk. Um, because of the pain medication, she's on the anti-inflammatories and the antibiotics that the puppies should not get a dose of. Mm -hmm. So um, the puppies actually really are, you know, doing very well. They're thriving very well. Um, they're really only visiting with her twice, once or twice a day. And so, it gives mommy time to rest because she has a broken yeah. pelvis. It's bond. From a, she got hit by a car. Her eye looks better. Yeah. Good girl, Miss Lucy. She's very sweet. 
All right, guys, I think this is good. We're almost at 20 minute video with Mommy Lucy, the 10 puppies that were born, she gave birth to under a house in Miami, a crawl space that my 100 plus team literally ran out um, and crawled under the house and pulled one by one. I'm recapping for anybody that's jumping on late. Mommy was hit by a car on the Friday before we got there, so she has a broken pelvis. She is at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. They do not allow uh, donations to be called in through their hospital. They're a very busy hospital. But please, you can go to our website, um, which is 100 plus PLUS, the number 100 PLUS, abandoneddogs.org. You can make a donation there. And you can also set up a monthly donation. It gives you that option. Even if it's a dollar or five dollars, every little bit helps. We have over 167,000 wonderful supporters, and um, you know, every day we get calls. Oh, this calls. Can you take this dog? Can you take this dog? And sadly, we have to say no because of funding. So, funding and space, but space we can always make if we have the funding in place. So, with that being said, if we have the funding in place, we're not saying no, and we mean that. We talk about it all the time, every day, amongst our team. We're out there every weekend. We're fundraising. We're adoption events. We do everything we can in our power. But this is bigger than us. This has to be a community effort with so many of these animals that are abandoned, disposed. Just it's, We live in a throwaway society, sadly. And uh, Lucy and her babies are just one. And we are honestly over 3,500 dogs rest and we're not even scratching the surface. We are making a difference in the ones that we do save, um, but there's a lot more out there that need us. And we are tagged in every dog that's out there every day. I get notifications, and I am sick to say no to any dog I need. So please and thank you in advance. This is 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida with Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy. Hi, Mama. Say hi. Thank you, everybody. And the 10 puppies. Thank you. You're Thanks, girls, for your help. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.